Every week we do show you, of course, how trash and plastics are really polluting our oceans and killing our marine life. And it's not just thoughtless litter bugs either. Who, those who depend on the sea for their livelihoods are also causing irreparable damage when they recklessly discard their fishing gear and it keeps washing up on our shores. The spreading specter of ghost gear is tonight, don't trash our treasure. We smelled it first. It was like, we were like, what is that smell? We saw this humongous net and all of our first reactions were like, is this even real? And we were like, like, wow, like, this is all dead fish, like this is a big problem. These Fort Lauderdale students at St. Thomas Aquinas High's Marine Science Club had never seen anything like it. It was, it was crazy to be honest. A master class in the devastating effects of ocean plastic pollution playing out right before their eyes. A 300 pound discarded fishing net washing up on the shores of Hollywood Beach while they were out on their monthly cleanup. To actually see it, I've never seen that in, in my 24 years of cleaning up the beach. And it was just the, the scale of it was most shocking. A textbook definition of a ghost net, recklessly discarded fishing gear that since time immemorial has been devastating our planet ocean. Ghost gear is any kind of fishing gear that's been lost from the fishermen. It can be from storms, it can be intentionally discarded uh, illegally, but it's gear that's still fishing, that's yeah. still catching fish and all the other things scavenging on them. Dr. David Kerstetter is a professor of marine science at Nova Southeastern University, specializing in fisheries gear technology. He says ghost gear, like these abandoned nets or even these fads, fish aggregating devices are having catastrophic consequences worldwide. It's not out of sight, out of mind. That gear is not degrading, it's just washing away. And they will entangle things like sea turtles or even marine birds in some cases. With coastal drift nets uh, entangling dolphins. This video taken in April shows scuba divers working feverishly to free two whale sharks ensnared in ghost nets off the coast of Indonesia. They survived, but each year millions of marine species die because of ghost gear. And it's so pervasive that every year enough commercial fishing gear is left in the ocean to stretch to the moon and back, according to the most comprehensive study ever done on lost fishing equipment. In the U.S., we have generally pretty good enforcement. That's not nearly the case in much of the rest of the world. From the beaches of Bali to Hawaii to South Florida, it is a global crisis highlighted in the popular Netflix documentary, Seaspiracy. Are we counting this? We're counting this. Oh, yeah. And our youth saw its deadly aftermath right in their own backyard. There's so many fish in it. You hear about these things, you know, just the miles and miles of ghost net in the ocean, but you never really have to come face to face with it and see it. So seeing that, that reminds you why you're out here picking up all that trash. This ghost net, so massive, so heavy, the students had to call for backup. City of Hollywood Public Works helped pick up and haul away this gigantic death trap. So it's sad to just realize how long that net probably must have been out there. Modern fishing gear is made of nylon. That's plastic. It will take 500 years to biodegrade. They could be going around for even centuries, they believe, um, made of nylon and not breaking down um, and entangling all kinds of organisms. This made us really realize that it's happening now. Like. And these young people have a message, not just to the commercial fishing industry, but to all of us. Your everyday choices matter. There's an effect to what you're doing. And it's having a lasting footprint on our planet and their future. You have to do something about it. Like you have to like bring this to a stop or else we're gonna trash the whole world and what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna live? There's not gonna be anywhere. An estimated 171 trillion pieces of plastic are in our ocean right now and a lot of it comes from recklessly discarded fishing gear. You can help by knowing where your seafood is sourced and make sure you don't support any industry with irresponsible and destructive fishing practices. There's an app for that. We have that as well as info on beach cleanups near you. Just scan that QR code on your screen. It'll take you right to the Don't Trash Our Treasure section on Local10.com. It is a huge, huge problem. Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. I mean, to think of all of that out there, I, I mm -hmm. had no idea. Yep, wow. it's out there and it's wreaking havoc. It is.